Chapter 6566 And in the middle of the winter days, King Erdenan abolished the Sabbath of the Jews, and all work was committed to it. Azmitz began on Wednesday and Friday, and Sonia Krustza, obeying the Rai, ordered the people of Damit to refer to them the order of the Rai, so that they could espoli without, stop all the works in the Ambada of the Jews. And after hearing these things, the people of Damat decided to abolish the Salabud of the Jadris, and five rum grand superbs, they disagree. Who will rule against us, and who can pollute us? And many times Ross Sila Cresto sent them words of message, so that they obeyed the Bey's order, they increased their solarin and pride, and made chieftain and boris and barbares af, and all the Chava of Gusjam were gathered together with them, Asis like the Dama, and the Sinan, and the Arbab, the Chava of Dagamo, and the Georgia Hale. And also some of their Vali left the Ross Sila Crestos, and joined together with Undamat Hadari, which were the Bar Amars, the Durers, the Vezer, and there remained to him but the Sils, and the Henik, and the Halet. And all those to whom the on the day of their death, when their days were complete, they made a Katama in Boris, which was much larger than the Katama of the Res Sila Crestos. And Ross Sila Crestos then bivouacked in Hamadamit, and sent a message to all the people of Damat, saying, Obey the order of the king, the Espoli is the Sabbath of the Jews. And they answered him in a word, saying, Get up for us from the way to the sisters, king, and let us ask him whether they ordered, or did not order, to abolish the wages of the Jews. And having agreed, he rose from Hamadamit and bivouacked at Edivre, and rising from Edivre, he bivouacked at Enexigdom, and there he sent word to them, as well as Shyama, Oazai Mareka, and Gabru Krustas, six son of the Sahafa Lamsarso, Nar Axgo, and two of the Vali of the Hay, and two of the Yahabada, who were called Adam Barda, the essence of his message said, What have I done, that you gang up against me, and want to kill me, I agree with you, the excommunicant saw in the words of 170 presbyterists. Leave your evil spirits, and abolish the Sabbath of the Jews, just as the king commanded you, and for what you have offended me, give me Kahaa, and send me also my Vali, who are with you. But if you refuse, the Lord will hear and smite the earth, God will be offended in me, they are with me on Yahabada, son V.A. Ranksa, who do not spare children, women, old people and children, they will kill everyone as they see fit, they will not feel sorry for anyone. And the blood of everyone who dies in our midst will be upon you and your children. And the Damat Hadari, having heard this message from the mouth of the mediators, became very proud, all his companions deliberated in the same way, and agreed, and suggested arrogance, when they saw the multitude of soldiers, who gathered with them, they replied to the message, saying, the first Saturday honor ours, and do not abolish Rem, and we will not give you your volley, which only takes refuge with us, and there is no kabasa upon us. And having heard such insulting words from the mouths of the Malian Cyrus, he rose up from Enzigedim, and made war with the people of Damat, who lived in Harafa, and captured their oxen, and set fire to their houses, and many monks were killed, who joined in their council and in their business with the people of Damat, and after they made war with themselves, they camped in Sanbat Gabaya. And the next day, Monday, he again sent word to the same mediators, whose names we mentioned before these things, and said to them, Say to the people of Damat, Why do you bother me in vain? My Vali, who gathered with you, when you arrested them, give them to me, and for what you have offended me, give me Kahasa, and abolish the Sabbath of the Jews, as the king commanded you. And the same mediators having gone, they reported this message to the Damat Hadari, who were in chief. And having heard the message from Ross Sila Crestos, they responded in a word to the same medicine men, saying, If you want to make friends with us, give up on us abolishing the Jewish Sabbath, because we and our fathers have honored him for a long time, and his Vali, who have taken refuge with us, we will not give him. These and many similar words of response returned him. And Ross Sila Crestos and his men, having heard this response to his message, stopped talking and deliberating the matters of war. And the next day, which was Tuesday, he rose up in the morning, and formed his leader into his ranks, and marched down from Dekul Kavana.
and the same Damat Hadari with many soldiers from Guaham formed the leader in three ranks, two standing, and one on horseback, and they placed themselves on the upper part of the Daga of Dakul Kavana, saying, We will not let you go out. And having arrived before them, he ordered his leader to sit down, and wanted to park without fighting, but they began to fight him with the gun and the bow, saying, We will not let you go out to the Daga of Dakul Kavana. Greater than greater than and when they began to fight with him, he placed before him the image of the crucifixion, and prostrated himself on his knees, prayed, and said, O my Lord Jesus Christ, if I, I do not serve you in justice and righteousness, as it was written in your holy gospel, give my head to my enemies, but if I love you, and serve you in justice according to the ordinance of the holy church, give me the heads of those rebels, who hate me in vain. And he also prayed to the Holy Virgin Mary, Our Lady, and supplicated her, saying, if I do not love you, and do not serve your son, as those who suspect me suspect me, give my head to those my enemies, but if I love you in righteousness, and I love your son, and if my faith is right, give me the head of those who oppose me, envying my honor. And having said this, he mounted his horse, and sent part of the warriors with the Dodge Asmic Buko against the horse leader, and he himself with the part of the warriors, who were called Henek, marched against the chief on foot, and they did not resist him for a moment, and turned their backs on the soldiers of Ross Sela Crestos, and many were killed, and were dropped like the dry leaf of a tree, and like locusts that are dropped to the surface of the sea. And the mighty men of Ross Sela Crestos slew them as far as Dagamo, and as far as Dabra Georgis, from the river of Beer, and as far as the Hambo of Zendeb, and they captured all their oxen and all their horses. And then on the same day, of the soldiers of Ross Sela Crestos, of the Gala and of the Amhara, there was no one who did not kill about ten, and another five, and another three, and another two, and there was no one who did not get rich, and who did not find prey for oxen and horses. And the king, having heard their battles, sent three princes, who were called, as I Asaino, as I Tino, and as I Sembiel, so that they might make friends with each other, and these, having gone, made friends among themselves. And then the king of kings Sultan Sagad ordered to publish a proclamation in his katama and in the katama of Ras Sela Crestos, saying, Whoever does not abolish the Sabbath of the Jews, just as they excommunicated the three hundred bishops, who gathered together in Laodicea, his possessions will be taken away from him, and his house will be plundered.